my name is Dave Ford. In this video tutorial we will look at the steps required to turn a rectangular image into a circular image which we can then use in our teaching resources. Now it doesn't matter if I'm going to use it in Word or in PowerPoint or Excel or online, I'm going to use PowerPoint as my tool for editing. Now the reason why we might want to turn a rectangular image into a circle, if you just look at the two side by side, well, my rectangular image, A, it's taking up a lot of unnecessary space. So if I turn it into a circle, I'm, it's, it's become a smaller image, and it means that there's more space for the other content that might be around it. And then secondly, it's just easier on the eye. My rectangular image has nice, hard, sharp corners, which if you're spending a lot of time looking at content, it can actually become less pleasant. Having the rounded corners of a circle is easier on the eye and it's then more pleasant for the person that could be spending a large amount of time uh, looking at that particular page of information. Now in order to do this there are two steps. What I'm first of all going to do is turn my rectangular image into a square and then once I've turned it into a square it's very easy to turn it into a circle. Now I could try and turn it into a square within PowerPoint but I actually find it easier to do it outside of PowerPoint. So what I'm going to do is here's my original rectangular image and I'm just going to double click and I'm going to open it and I'm working on a Windows machine. It's just opened it in the sort of the basic photo viewer that comes as part of the Windows setup. And that has an edit and create option. And I can edit. And then I'm going to choose crop and rotate. And then when I do that on the right hand side, I can specify what aspect ratio I want to crop it to. Now I want to make it into a square, so I choose square from the option and it's now preset that the width and the height is basically the same. Now I could sort of shrink it down and you'll notice that as I shrink or increase it maintains the square ratio and I can also drag the image around. Now the key thing for me is making sure that the image is in the centre of my square. Once I'm happy I save a copy and we choose where we're going to save it to and we now have a square image. I'm going to go back into PowerPoint and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that square image onto a new slide. So there's my square image and I'm going to insert. Now having got a square image if I click on the image and I then go to this sort of uh, drop down we have shapes, you've got different formats that you can apply. So there's one that says beveled oval, you've also got one that's kind of got a, a metal oval border. It doesn't matter which one you use, I'm going to use one of the two and that's now made it into a, a circular shape because it was a square it turned the oval into a circle. Now in this case it's actually put a shadow underneath which I may not want. So if I go to the picture effects option and I'm just going to go through each one and take out any picture effects. So with the preset, I'm going to make sure that they're all with no option. So that one was actually already done, that one was already done, that one's already done, etc. So that now is a circle of my image. Now it still has a border. If I don't like the border, I can click on it and go picture format and I can have no outline or I could have a different color outline if I so wished. But either which way I've now circled my rectangle. If I wanted to use this in another file I can just right click and copy, go into Word or Excel and paste and there we go.